Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Honduran firebelly boas are a really interesting Central American locality boa noted for their bright colors and unusual behavior. Today I want to give you guys an update on my Honduran firebelly boa breeding project, show you guys some of the uh, holdbacks that I have that I'm growing up right now, and say a little bit more about this rare locality boa. So the Honduran firebelly boas are a project that was started back in the 1990s by a breeder by the name of Dennis Sargent. And so Dennis acquired a number of boas that had been imported by Tom Crutchfeld that came from the island of Roatan, which is a small island off of the coast of Honduras in the Car Caribbean Sea. And he selected the ones that had the most intensely colored orange bellies. And so then he selectively bred them and selected for the brightest orange ones in each generation and produced this line that he calls the Firebelly Boa. And so it should be noted that there's quite a few other Central American boas from Honduras as well as other countries that have a bright colors including an orange or reddish belly and sides, but only the animals that are descended from the, uh, the project started by Dennis Sargent are really the ones that are known as the Honduran Firebelly Boas. And so I, this is one of my holdback males. This guy was born in 2018. My original breeders came from Legacy Reptiles and were born in 2013. And I had my first litter in 2018. And this is actually one of the holdbacks from that litter. This guy is a male and I selected him because I you know, thought he had a really cool look. He's largely patternless. You can see he's got some saddles in the middle of his body, but um, kind of the front third and the third towards the tail are mostly patternless, giving kind of an impression of, of a striped appearance. You can see he's got the fire belly color, the salmon, orangish, uh, reddish belly. They often will have this color on their sides as well. And then what's cool about these boas is the shape of their heads. They have these really short, stout heads with these kind of large cheek muscles, kind of a snub nose, and they have really large, prominent eyes that are typically uh, kind of an orangish brown or golden color and they're really beautiful eyes. But I think they have a really cool appearance to their head. And just overall a really neat looking boa. They're not a big boa, this guy is pretty much full size. He's probably about five feet long or so. He's probably ready, he probably could breed at this size. Um, probably gonna pair him up next year, have a female ready for him next year and hopefully I'll produce some more uh, fire bellies next year. I don't have any pairings this year, unfortunately, um, but fingers crossed for next year. These guys are really hard to come by these days. I'm not really aware of many other breeders working with them. The original founder group that was established by Dennis Sargent was really small. And so at this point, they're probably pretty inbred. Um, as far as I know, Dennis Sargent unfortunately got out of the project not that long after he started it, sometime in the early 2000s, got out of boas and the animals were sold off and um, it's not really clear where they all ended up, but there's not too many of these left. And you know, I often wonder about the inbreeding with these guys because obviously we wanna avoid inbreeding. On the other hand, we wanna keep the projects pure, so it's kind of a balancing act. And um, as I mentioned, I've seen a lot of other boas from Honduras that have similar coloration. So it probably would not be incorrect to cross these together with these, but you couldn't call them fire bellies at that point because it would basically be a different project. So there's not really an easy answer on this, um, whether we want to avoid inbreeding or, you know, just keep inbreeding these animals directly so we can call them pure. But I don't have all the answers there. Anyway, I just like this male. He's pretty strong, kind of cut off the circulation in my wrist here. So I'll put him back in a sec, but uh, just been an enjoyable animal to handle. This guy is pretty mellow and docile. Uh, rarely, if ever, does he hiss and a you know, real strong feeding response. Here's another holdback, under and firebelly boa, also born in 2018. This is a female. And this animal has a more uh, kind of well-defined uniform saddle pattern. And you can see she's getting the nice pinkish reddish fire belly. You can see their ground coloration is typically kind of an olivish brown and the saddle markings, especially towards the tail, have kind of more of a maroon, dark maroon color. Just a really nice looking boa. 
Um, they can be a little unpredictable as far as their behavior. This female isn't quite as docile as the male I just showed you. You can see she's kind of trying to get away and constricting there. She was hissing quite a bit when I took her out, but they hiss, so some of them will hiss quite a bit, but they don't usually bite. I don't think I've been bitten very much by these, maybe once or twice, so I'm not concerned. But you know, they're not the most mellow or docile boa, but just, you know, not, nothing challenging as far as handling either. And um, they also, the, the feeding can be a little bit unpredictable. This female and the male I showed you have fed fine on thawed frozen rats. I have another female also from the same litter and she's a little picky. She wanted to just eat live mice for quite a while. And even now, now that these animals are like four years old, going on five years old, she's kind of got me tied up in a knot there. Even now, this female sometimes won't eat the thawed frozen rats so i'll give her a rat and she'll bite it and constrict but then she'll spit it out and i have to go back and repeat the process sometimes two or three times sometimes i'll come in the next day and the rat is still there so it's a little frustrating um, but it's just that one female that i'm referring to this one is you know a much better eater but uh, just an interesting project definitely the behavior is different from some of my other boas you know, other boas, if they're going to be aggressive, typically they just come out more and bite you if they're going to do it. Whereas these guys are just kind of, some of them are kind of in a perpetual grumpy mood. They don't quite go after you, but they, they're they just uh, a little bit grumpy, if that makes sense. But definitely a distinctive looking boa. A real interesting coloration. And, you know, uh, this is a project that I've really enjoyed working with and you know, hope to have some breeders going in the 2023 breeding season so next year not that this breeding season right now but the 2023 to 2024 breeding season now i want to show you a couple holdbacks from my last litter in 2021 and i'm holding this girl at arm's length because she was a little nippy when i got her out of her enclosure don't want to get tagged in the face um, but you know sometimes they're fine sometimes they're just like nippy you know then it, it's kind of unpredictable but you can see this is a really there she goes. This is a really beautiful light colored animal. You can see she's all coiled up ready to strike. But I just love the, the tints, you know, the colors on the side of this animal, kind of a greenish, orangish color. You know, in Daniel they get a little darker as they get older. Hopefully she'll stay light. I selected holdbacks that kind of had light colors and you can see she's got kind of a patternless look towards her tail. Hope she's not uh, going for my face there, but just a real nice animal. You can see this one doesn't have quite the same pink on the belly. You know, there's a lot of variability, but even if they don't have the classic fire belly, they're, these boas are really nice looking animals. They're just the shape of their heads and the shape of the body and the pattern is just really nice to look at. So really cool animals from Honduras, the Honduran fire belly boa is also known as the Isla de Roatan boas, and looking forward to seeing where this project is going to go. One more 2021 all back condor and fire belly. This guy's a male, and this guy's super colorful. He's got that beautiful orangey greenish color on his sides. Mostly patternless, you can see, especially uh, the front half of his body. Then he's got a few saddles, and then he's got some striping towards his tail. And this guy's also a little jumpy today. Um, he didn't try to bite me when I took him out, but he's just a little bit nervous, so I'm not going to take him out for very long, but just thought I'd show you guys how nice looking this animal is, and hopefully he'll continue to develop nicely, be ready to breed in a few years. A lot of you guys have asked me about hunter and fire bellies, and this is another boa that I wish I could just clone and, you know, make thousands of them just so everybody could get them because they're so hard to find. But that's really not the way that boa breeding works. In time, I'll hopefully have more babies, but you know, I just gotta be patient. Can't breed a boa before it's time. And you know, wanna hopefully continue that this, or I wanna ensure that this project will continue uh, because I know how rare these guys are and how hard they are to get. 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these animals, especially this one. You can see how beautiful his eyes are. A lot of times people comment on just how nice looking the eyes of this animal are. Um, hope you enjoyed looking at these boas and let me know if you have any information on other people working with these animals. I know some of you guys have some of my babies from the last few years, um, but would always like to know about other people breeding these animals. And also hopefully we can exchange animals and increase the bloodlines in our collections. Anyway, shoot me any questions you have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.